What's going on, with you people? You already know what it is. It's your boy Tunchi. This is YBE TV. Today, I got a question from my man Kevin B. Well. But before we get into that, you already know we got to pay some bills. Hit me up at www.ybetv.org so you can hit me up with questions. Just scroll down to Ask Tune and shoot your question to me, and I'll get back to you ASAP. Uh, this question says, Tune. With emergency of Tesla and their battery-operated semi-trucks and a few other companies right now, they are projected to do short hauls between three and 500 miles. What do you see the trucking industry going in the next 10 years? Man, man, I think, um, I think that that is the dopest question. And I've been waiting. I've been waiting like hell for, um, for somebody to ask me a question about a Tesla. And the thing is, is that now I finally got it. Um, the first thing is, is that with a Tesla and the battery operating system, I think that it's going to be a good and bad thing. One of the good things is, is that number one, pollution, of course. Pollution is going to go down because now you got, you know, you know, you ain't got all these gases that's coming, these fumes that come from diesel engines and things like that. Because I know we responsible for a lot of pollution, you know, in the trucking industry. So that's the first thing. Now, secondly, I think that it will be great because if you can, uh, if you are on the operator, and as these things become older and they get newer and newer years and they become more and more affordable for people, uh, I think that man, it will cut costs down a lot. And then I think that somebody is gonna come through with one of these Tesla trucks. For the people that don't understand the Tesla truck, I've been doing the research on them. I really love these trucks and um. These trucks basically, uh, what they do is they run off of straight electricity. Now, by them running off electricity, what happens is is that these trucks um, save diesel. Like, you really ain't got to fuel up, but you got to go to fuel stations to get electricity. And it takes about 30 minutes to fill up on electricity. But they do charge you for the electricity. Now, the thing is, another thing is, they're really strong trucks. They go from zero to 60 in one-fourth of the time that it takes a bobtail truck to go from zero to 60. Now, the next thing is, is that it takes one-fourth of the time for them to go loaded from zero to 60. And they can pull a hill of 5% grade, is what we told, a 5% grade at 65 miles per hour. Now, that's the next thing. The thing that I think is that, I'm going to do a part two to this question. One of the, the thing that I'm really thinking is this. When it comes to the Tesla, I think that it can be great for the consumer. I think that it will be great for the big company because they'll save money. But ultimately, I think that this could possibly be the era of things that will be able to push the drive out the way. Because I'm seeing one thing. They said that a Tesla will be able to drive with one driver in the first truck and zero drivers in the the three that's behind it. Now, if they able to master that and master a route and get that together to a point where, you know, you can wipe out four trucks with one driver, I think that that would definitely, definitely be a way for these companies to get out of uh, being more competitive. I think that you would be taking a lot of power away from the drivers because right now we're in a very competitive industry. Even though they're screwing us all over because they're giving us the bottom low numbers, it's really competitive to the point where we pick our pay. You know, even as a company driver, a lot of people think that company drivers don't got a lot of, uh, a lot of control. What happens is the company drivers is walking into these companies and saying, hey, what you going to pay me? Okay, that's not enough. I'll, I'll, I'll go to the competition. Competition, what you going to pay me? Okay, now you talking. We getting warmer. Now, competition, that's competition. What you going to pay me? So, you know, I think that if we don't be careful that we can end up where technology end up taking our jobs, I think that it will put a dent to the industry. The same way that these uh, automatic scanners and these Kroger's and these Jewel Osco's and these Walmarts, where you could do the self-checkout, took the job of a lot of cashiers. So, you know, um, I think it could be a great thing and a bad thing. I just hope it balances out. And I'm all for it. I'm a technology fan. I really hope, I really, 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 really hope that this does work out for the best for everybody. So um, 
that's just really it, man. And I'm going to get back to the Tesla. I'm going to definitely do a video about the Tesla uh, truck, about the things that I know about it and the way I feel about it. So I hope that answer you, man. And, uh, you know, I enjoy you. Uh, thanks, Kevin. Be well. Uh, I definitely appreciate you, bro. You already know what it is. It's your boy, Tunchi. And if you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. Why be? Drug dealing and killing is going on in my town. Yeah, don't take a killer to kill or a driller to drill. So just being yourself is the definition of real.